Hello, in a previous video we saw how we can split a network in half, like uh, this 256 IP addresses network was split into two 128, but we can again recursively split any of those two into smaller, smaller networks, like by example splitting this 128 into 64s and then splitting again 164 into 232. Let's talk about the general case. When we have a network of the size 2 at the power of x, we can split this network in two. So we'll have two networks of the size 2 at the power of x minus 1, both of them. Then we can again split one of them into two networks of the size 2 at the power of x minus 2. So this can be done uh, recursively, it's like a binary tree. Let's see how we do this. Uh, in the original uh, network we had uh, a, a network of size 2 at the power of x because, because we had x zeros in the binary representation of the net mask. In order to split this network in two, both of these two networks will have another net mask. This is done by adding by replacing a zero from the original net mask with an one. So we'll have x minus one zeros in this net mask. And again, this zero will be replaced by an one and we'll have, we'll have x minus two zeros. So the size of these networks will be two at the power of x minus two. If we talk about the network as an interval, we have here the original interval with a network address and the broadcast address and one net mask. If we split this interval in two, we'll have two intervals, two subnetworks. This is the first one and this is the second one. And the net mask will change. We'll have, we'll have an extra one in the binary representation. Then let's say that we want to split the second interval into two other intervals. The first interval will remain the same and the second one will be splitted into smaller networks. They will have uh, another net mask where uh, um, we will add another one to the binary representation and this one will have the same net mask. Thank you for watching.